First of all, can you tell me how the EI came to be involved with setting up the G Plus back in 2012? Yeah, sure. It's um, it, it was an, an interesting uh, coming together, really, because for many decades, the, the Energy Institute's been involved in collaboration around health and safety uh, and uh, risk management. So when the offshore wind industry decided that it was going to come together uh, and form a collaboration, we were obvious a natural place to come to see if we could support that. So it was, a, it was an easy collaboration for us to be able to then support the visible leadership that the offshore companies wanted to show. So, Beata, you're involved in the day-to-day -day running of the G+. Um, could you talk me through some of the activities and outputs that's involved in that? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. So the overall aim of the G+, is to work jointly together as an industry to uh, tackle health and safety issues for the industry, for the sector. And G Plus is doing this in principle uh, in three main activities. So the backbone of the work is really to gather and collate data, incident data from our members. So members come together, uh, report their health and safety incidents in a standardized format. We analyze the data and then are able to uh, identify issues, risks, and um, to monitor the performance. Um, second part of this work is the development of guidance documents. So um, we identify an issue on the data and then come together with industry and, and work developing recommended standards, minimum standards or good performance uh, procedures for the industry that can be then actively implemented in um, site or company um, corporate documents um, to be in, implemented in practice. And uh, the third part uh, is, uh, I find very important, the Stage by Design program. So again, an issue, a topic is identified through the data. Um, then we organize an event where people from the whole supply chain come together. Um, so we have regulators, we have technicians, we have say, health and safety uh, managers, um, we have um, subject matter experts for the topic to come together to challenge design of um, um, operational design and uh, to discuss opportunities how to make improvements. And all this work is uh, freely accessible um, for, the, for the whole industry. So you can download all the documents, all the guidance um, from the G Plus website. Uh, and that's how we try to yeah, make it available, accessible for the whole industry. I mean, it's a very extensive body of work. <laughs> so what's next for the Duke Plus? <laughs> oh, I th it, well, as B has already mentioned, it's, it's got a very long to-do list uh, and, and that won't stop any time. You know, you, and you can't be complacent about the HSE agenda either. Uh, you, know, you are always trying to raise the bar and, and look for improvement. So those projects will be uh, decided by the industry uh, the, the choices and the prioritisation of those will be led by the industry. But I think through growing the membership and extending the engagement, making more people aware about G Plus and the great stuff that it does, uh, we will bring more people in so the conversation grows, the work programme will, will, will evolve in that way, which is right, actually. It should be. That visionary leadership could, should continue from the industry. And there's also huge potential for the industry to grow itself internationally you know, in, in Southeast Asia, in North America, for example, not just here where we've already been in the UK, uh, a market leader and, and, and remain so. So there's opportunity, I think, to bring in many new people and, and organisations to the benefit of everyone, actually, in that collaborative model. Um, and, and the G plus expertise the whole reason that they come together and they hold their own feet to the fire and they're accountable is that they they understand the value of the work that they're doing and it's important that we get as many people and, and stakeholders engaged in that going forward. Louise Vieta, thank you.